Hey guys, welcome back to Archie Tutors. In this video, you will learn how to make the flash effect to any of your pictures in Photoshop. So let's begin. So I'll be working on this file. Let's go to a quick selection tool. You can use any tool to basically select the person or the object in the image. You don't need to be perfect with the selection. You can use either pen tool or any other tool for the selection. And once the selection is done, right click on it and click on layer by copy to make a copy of that object and uh, unlock the background layer by double clicking on it and click OK and also make a duplicate of that object. Press OK. Now go to filter, blur and Gaussier blur. So I'm going to change its radius a little bit. Okay, that feels good enough. Click OK. So I'm going to move this layer a little left to the ob actual object. Since that something is in motion in this layer. So let's add some adjustments. Go to hue and saturation and here I'm going to increase lightness in this layer. That's good enough. And click OK. So when we're done with it, just change the opacity a little bit. To 60 or 70 around that figure. And the next part is to make a layer. And go to a brush change the size and basically make some lines over the body of the object so this is going to give us the feel of something actually moving very fast in motion you don't need to be very precise just cover the outline of the object and on the hand also So when you're done with this, change the layer state of the object from normal to color dodge and change the opacity a little bit so it looks better. So I'm going to create another layer and go to brush. And erase some part of it and change the layer state from normal to color dodge change the opacity of the layer okay it looks good there's two more things that we are left to add so first I'm going to make a duplicate layer of the picture and I'm going to add a blur effect on it maybe motion blur will be fine Basically we want a scene that is moving, that is in motion. That is why I'm applying the filter to the background image. Press OK. We adjust the opacity. And let's add some speed effect to the track also where this shoe is placed. Adjust the opacity of the brush.
and that looks better. Select the background layer and adjust its saturation. So I'm going to decrease the saturation so that will actually make it even better. That feels fine. Erase some part from that. Change the opacity a little bit of the effect layers. And the last thing to make it even better, go to adjustments and click on HDR tuning. So from here you can actually select any preset, it already looks good. Just check out different preset. This photorealistic high contrast looks even better than the actual image. I'll keep that in the final picture. You can try many more effects from this. And click on OK to actually apply the effect. So this is how you can actually create a speed effect like the flash in any of your photographs. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and watch out for more videos.